picture who's going through a divorce, has a jealous possessive lover and is the interest of a gentle amicable farmer. It's called Eitflucht and it's set on a farm in the Eastern Cape where the story doesn't shy away from everyday people's real life issues like alcohol and child abuse, illiteracy and domestic violence. Eitflucht went on a circuit around the country yesterday and joining me to talk about the movie are co-writers, uh, basically they did everything, Clara Jobert van der Berg and Reichard van der Berg. Clara, guys, thank you very much. Oh, Clara also plays the uh, lead character and Reichard co-produced the film. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. Thank, thank you for you having us. Yeah. It's a pleasure being here. I am, before we even talk about, we, we kind of mentioned what the film was about, but Reichard, when we talk about three years, Clara mentioned before we started this interview that it took you three years to get to this point. The this must process. have really been a passion project. It was, yeah. I mean, in actual fact, uh, well, let me say it, that, you know, it's really uh, the story of how we fell in love. Mm. And uh, she told me when I, when I heard her story in the beginning of our relationship, mm. and I asked her what the little school's name was, and she said, Uitvlucht, which just means breaking free. Mm. Uh, I just said to her, that's a movie. And so it started growing in our hearts, and then we decided, you know, to start writing some of the things. And the kids are so charming in the school mm. uh, that, you know, that made so, for so much humor and so much... Uh, vivacity in the movie mm. that uh, you know we 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 use that as the background to this beautiful love story. This beautiful <laughs> love story. <laughs> no, but look, when, when Reicha talks about this beautiful love story, we're we're kind of belying the fact that there was a lot of hard work that yeah. went into making sure that mm. this happens. I mean, you co-wrote it, you produced it. You, uh, talk to me about some of the work that went into into it. I mean, it was what launched yesterday. Yeah. yeah. No, I think that the, the most difficult part was the writing because, mm. um, you know, what to put in and what not to put in. And, um, you know, because there's actually, as you said, a lot of different stories in the story. Mm. I mean, there's the alcohol abuse, there's, uh, you know, the, the domestic violence in the houses. And, but we so had we're to opening up our hearts. <laughs> yeah, you know, we had to draw, we had to pick a line that, that goes through, you know, that the thread. children, the parents. And and um, and the teacher and everyone, you know. So that was the line, love, because it's not just um, the love story. It's also the love of uh, that that the teacher got from the, the unconditional love that the mm. teacher got from the children, which actually which healed her in our process uh, in the in the in the in real life and in the story as well. Because that was my next question: Is it a love story? Because there are just so many uh, really strong themes mm. and real societal issues that we're talking about on a day-to-day yeah. basis. Basically, right? Yeah, it, you know, most important for us, it's, co it's a community story. It's, it's, it's about community and that, you know, love conquers all. Mm -hmm. And if we can start, start learning to unconditionally love, mm -hmm. like these kids, you know, that, that, that love so much that it, that it heals our hearts. She came to the school with a broken wing and she flew away in, in Eitflucht, you know, in, in like a... So let me ask a tough question. How difficult was it to, to be directed by your husband? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't so difficult. <laughs> because you're also, you're also <laughs> the lead character, you're the yeah. co-producer, so you're working from multiple angles. Yeah, you know what, um, uh, I went into this project as I would in any other project. Okay. You know, it's, um, I worked with... A, um, she was like a professional. Yeah, you know, with fantastic <laughs> actors and I just saw it as another movie with uh, a character that I got to get my heart into and just do it as another product, not as a very personal thing. Mm. Now, sometimes it was personal. I mean, the children still saw me as Jeffro Clara. Uh, so they came with me, you, you came to me with all their problems and stuff. And if they felt insecure or tired, that was the difficult part. But further than that, it was, yeah, it went fine. I know we've got the trailer and at some point we'll, uh, we'll play it. Um, that, that process of now, the film is, is done, it's packaged, it's released yesterday. What was some of the feedback from this movie? Because it, I know that South Africa, we, or the Afrikaans market, we love this rom-com, yeah, quite right. silly yeah. um, um, uh, a movie. But when you have a, a, a love story with so much depth, what was the reaction from, from, from people that have watched it? Like We've had tremendous know? reaction. We, we went to uh, some of the theatres and... and Pretoria last night. That's and where you sneak in. <coughs> we sneak in a check. And, <laughs> and uh, the, f the feedback, also we could see the reactions were just tremendous. The people really love the, fo the story. I think, you know, if you make a story and, it's, and you make it really honestly, and, you, you know, there's no pretense in the story, people respond mm. to it immediately. Mm. You know, it really resonates with their hearts. 
And uh, the people loved it. I mean, pe <laughs> the old toppies came out of the movie and they were like red eyes and they were crying. This one guy said to me, I was crying. <laughs> uh, but tears of happiness because of the movies. It's really, you know, we need to get a positive message out there, you know. Oh. Okay, so it's doing the rounds nationally? Claire? Yeah. Yes, it, yeah, it is, yeah. To me, what was fantastic is that the children of the school, they are also the actors in the, in the, wow. in the movie. The two, and the they actually kids. went to watch the movie about three, four days ago. And I mean, for them, when we, when, because it's a farm school, so the one day we went with a phone just to take a little video of them, and they thought that was the movie. So can you imagine their faces on this huge screen? When they see that, I mean, yeah. it must have been fantastic That's the thing. That was them, the movie is also about opening up dreams. You know, It's about education. So it really, so we should really get South Africans behind this film to go yeah. and support it and go and watch it. But the other interesting thing about this movie is also that you had an opportunity to work with family and bring them onto the production aspect Absolutely, as well. Yeah. yeah, I appreciated that because you know my my passion has been film. I, I don't know anything else. Mm. Um, so for my family who love this business as well, you know, I, it'd be fantastic if the father can create opportunity. So I have my my daughter and my son-in-law. She plays a small part and helped with the producing. And my son-in-law acted uh, a nice part in it. Clara was in it. And family helped on, on, on the crew. So, you know, mm. education. You know. When you're working with an audience that is not <coughs> used to the film industry, especially the kids, wow. that community, what are some of the challenges, Clara, that you guys experienced, uh, not in, in, the, in the last three years in, in making the film, but in the actual production of the film, working in a community like that? Because you're not working with real actors. Yeah. You know, everyone actually warned us not to work with children because, I mean, they are yeah. the worst. And we uh, originally went there and uh, gave the teacher a piece of dialogue to do, with the, to, to teach the children. And then when they um, performed it, they actually performed it like, da 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 And we thought, oh, like no, it, you, know. you know, it's full. It cannot happen. So what we did is we used one guy, but what we also did was we took the dialogue away. And he used a little, uh, um, the teacher actually suggested to use one of the, the boys there. And he was just so natural. And they just followed him. And, and I mean, we actually gave the, the, the dialogue to the children at the moment when we were about to film it. And they were so natural. That so actually spontaneous. It was like Kwekwe, the little guy she's talking about. When he had to do his first bit, he, he didn't know about acting. He just did it. Like yeah. the most natural actor in the whole world. And all the other little kids just went after the same pattern. So, so you might have discovered some new actors. That Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know Directors. what? I believe we awoke some dreams in the kids as well. Because the, you know, some of them never thought that they'd move away from the rural uh, areas, you know. Mm. But this little one little kid, I th he's going to become an actor. Quick, quick. Absolutely. He's great. Okay. I'm going to ask you to give me a quick punt. Why is this film worth seeing? If anybody's watching us right now, I, I bel firmly believe we need to support local films I anyway. Mm. But why do we need to see this film? I think we've uh, seen in South Africa and all over a lot of violence and negativity the last few months. And it's time to just go and watch the movie and see that we can work together. And it's about hope. Yeah. Hope for everyone. In, in this country. We don't have to break down and yeah. burn down yeah. schools and things yeah. like what's happening. We love Conquers All. People must go and see it so they can get their message. Absolutely. Guys, thank you very much for joining me in the studio. It's Reichard van der Berg and Clara Joubert van der Berg uh, co-wrote the latest South African big screen release, which is called Eight Vlucht, the film which is set on a farm in the Eastern Cape and follows the story of Anna, who is on a path of self-discovery and forgiveness and it opened in cinemas nationwide yesterday. Guys, let's go and support this Thank film. You. Take your friends, your family and even your enemies. Let's go and watch <laughs> this film. Uh, Lebo is standing by.